All right, so today I want to talk about my boy Miguel Angel Lopez. Now, obviously, yesterday, if you haven't watched the world stage, just catch up on Lantern's Law highlight video. But it was a pretty exciting stage all around. Um, 4,300 meters of climbing, like 100, a lot of Ks, and just, you know, a tough final stage. And anyway, basically, Ineos started attacking. Yates went, a couple people followed. Lopez couldn't follow or didn't follow. Don't know really what it was. But anyway, he, he then lost a lot of time so he was chasing for a decent amount of time then i think he sacked it in because he was like was well, not going to work the time gap went up to four minutes and i think he just like lost his cool and basically ended up dnfing now we're going to read what his statement is and i want to go through like what people reacted to and why i think maybe we should have a bit more sympathy with Miguel Angel lopez so Miguel Angel lopez said as most of you have seen the moment when the group split was a difficult situation hard to resolve um, he just says, basically goes on to say it was it was a small gap, no, it wasn't going to be closing, and he didn't want to see the world to end like this. Obviously, he won a couple of days ago um, up the steep climb, La Gaiman Tairu, uh, I think is how you say it, pronounce it. I want to apologize to my teammates. We we're a reduced group, only five left in the world, with only three of them focus on team duties, and they ride their hearts out for us. They give 100%. It's a tough situation. Um, but yeah, anyway, if you didn't know, Miguel Alan Lopez before this year said that. He was suffering a little bit in terms, like he took about two months off the bike. So he just wasn't really enjoying it that much. It's quite hard. Um, and today again, he said that, you know, we're not robots. You know, it's hard to hard to race properly, like the whole time. Um, and I think, yeah, like if you think about it, like it is quite a bad situation. Like he's he thinks he's going to get a podium. Then the group goes. And then I think there might have been some other issues where like he couldn't, he knew he couldn't get it back. And like in the heat of the moment, he's just like, well, what's the point? Like, he's he's done podiums on Grand Tours before. He's won a lot of Grand Tour stages. Like, he, he's probably like, well, coming sixth is like, oh, cool, but it's not that deep. Like, he just doesn't care in that sense. Or, like, he was so set on the podium that that was his only real ambition. I think some people, obviously, there's a whole comedy about Movistar, about how useless they are as a team, but how everyone sort of, well, I like them a lot. I think they're, they're good. And this year, they've got a lot better. They ride as a team. They're definitely, like, different this year compared to the past. Um, but I think, yeah, I think some of the abuse for him is a bit harsh. Brian Smith said some pretty harsh words. That he spat as dummy and stuff. It's like, mate, well, I sort of get what he means. But I think it's a bit it's a bit deeper than just that. Like, I think he was obviously not 100% great at the beginning of the season, mentally-wise. So I don't think you should necessarily kick him when he's had a hard day. And I think it's quite easy to just be like, well... You know, why don't you continue? It's like, well, yeah, but it's not like, you know, you just continue. He's just going for a zone two ride, 200 watts. Like, it's a hard race. And, like, if you're just really not feeling it and he just kicks off, like, it's not, I know it's not, like, it's not that crazy to understand why you would just kick off. I'm not saying it's the right thing to do. I don't I don't think it is. But I think maybe more sympathy and more nuance is required in this situation than just, like, just saying, oh, yeah, it's disastrous. I don't know what he's doing. You know, he's a disgrace, all this stuff. And it's like, well... You said you don't want people to be robots. Someone said this on Twitter. You don't want them to be robots. And then he doesn't act as a robot and, get, and quits and says, okay, yeah, but, you know, it's, it was, you know, I didn't, like, you know, I wasn't going well. And then everyone's like, oh, well, what's this? It's super lame. I think also people were comparing it to when he, like, got crashed um, in the Giro when, <clears throat> I think it was two years ago, um, and some spectator bashed into him. And then he ripped his hat off and threw him out. I, I like Lopez because he seems to actually have some personality to the boy. And he is really good. Like, on steep climbs like that, on Gaiman Taidu, like, there's just no one coming close. Like, he's just really, really good. Same with Cordero Los. Um, so, yeah, I, I hope it's not the end of the road for Miguel and Lopez. I think the team seems to be relatively understanding. I mean, they did. he did got their only Grand Tour stage win in the whole year. So, they haven't had a great season. So, I, I think, yeah, you know, it's not great publicity. But at the same time... It's understandable. Everyone's human at the end of the day. Um, and I think, yeah, people just needed sometimes a little bit more perspective of what is going on in the race. Um, it's not like you just rage quit in, like, you know, middle of a sprint stage where it was real easy. I mean, it's a hard stage. It was hot. It's stage 20. Like, you know, it, it, it's not a good decision. He probably regrets it now. But at the time, I think, you know, he, he did seem quite upset. The little video he called his wife, I think. Like, I think it's... Um, yeah, it wasn't a great situation for the boy. Um, but anyway, as I said before, hopefully he'll come back. Um, I really I really wanted to win a Grand Tour. I'm a big fan of Superman. Um, you know, apparently, someone I saw on Twitter, someone said that he only started riding a bike at age 15 and five years later won the Tour de l'Avenir. I mean, that's that's mental. Um, but yeah, I think 
you know, he's a he's a good lad all round. Um, and it will be it'll be interesting to see what happens. And hopefully, Movistar can sort sort the boy out, uh, make sure he gets a bit more on track, and then win a grand tour in the next couple of years. That'd be outrageous. But anyway, leave me or obviously leave your thoughts below. What do you think about Miguel Angel Lopez? Is he just sort of a spoiled brat? Some people are saying, or do you think you have more sympathy like me and think you know it was a tough situation and it wasn't it probably wasn't the right decision? But at the same time, you can have some sympathy towards him. But anyway, cheers for watching. Hope you did enjoy. Remember to subscribe and like the video, and we'll see you in the next one.